So greenhouse gases are gases in the atmosphere that absorb infrared radiation. And infrared radiation is emitted from the Earth's surface and normally escapes to space and therefore keeps the Earth uh, radiation in balance with the absorbed sunlight and therefore Earth's temperature stable. But as we increase greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we raise uh, the amount of absorbing gas in the atmosphere and we raise uh, the level from which this radiation uh, can escape to space to higher levels than the atmosphere. And as the atmosphere is colder at higher levels, uh, it emits less radiation and therefore by introducing more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, we uh, reduce the amount of radiation that can be emitted to space and therefore we warm up the Earth because we can't balance the incoming absorbed solar radiation anymore. People draw the analogy with a greenhouse, where a greenhouse also keeps the heat absorbed from solar radiation in, in uh, a, the greenhouse itself. Unfortunately, the mechanism by which a greenhouse warms itself is different from the mechanism I just explained. So the term is slightly misleading, but it serves as a nice analog. So aerosols are small particles in the atmosphere, basically air pollution, but it can be also from, from natural sources. And aerosols uh, uh, scatter sunlight back to space. And also aerosols make clouds brighter, therefore scattering more sunlight back to space. And therefore aerosols cool the Earth, and quite substantially at the moment, by about half a degree. And as we now clean up air pollution in a, in a future world, uh, we therefore reduce a cooling effect, and therefore we will accelerate global warming.